Experts say that XRP at $500 is undervalued, citing Ripple's $250 trillion projection for cross-border sectors. And as we can see here, the director of Vahill Capital is in agreement with this, predicting XRP to be worth between $10,000 to $35,000 per coin after regulations and after determined to be the world's bridge currency. Now, this may seem very far-fetched, but in this video, I'll explain to you why this is entirely possible and why it all comes down to mainstream media, or more specifically, what they don't want you to know. It is hilarious how no mainstream media platform will tell you that they are constantly, secretly having meetings and summits discussing crypto and the digital transformation. Not one of them. They don't want people like you and me involved. They want us to remain poor. These governmental powers, these institutional investors tell you crypto is dead, yet all of these massive banks, JP Morgan, Bank of America, and so many more are going to this event tomorrow, 12th to 14th of September, the Trade Tech FX, where they're going to be discussing evaluating new developments in digital assets for a safer digital asset ecosystem and improving liquidity to further boost institutional adoption and investor confidence. But not investors like you and me, no, investors like them, the institutional investors, so we remain poor and they remain rich, which is why you need to ignore the noise and search for the clues, which you can see here with Vandal, the black swan capitalist here, talking about the price of XRP is going to be set and is going to be set at a high price, which is what he's been told by a few other people. Let's quickly take a listen to the 30 second segment. The, the chain reaction of the banking crisis, it's not an accident. Um, they're gonna let this thing, the contagion spread to where the crisis is big enough to where the Federal Reserve really can't do anything about it or the FDIC to where the IMF will have to step in. And if we look at Ripple, they've been working very closely on high level discussions on financial technology with the IMF and not just the IMF, some of the other larger institutions too. So I believe they're gonna create a situation where it's gonna be a big problem where the IMF will have to step in and they're gonna do something with the XRP, but the price is gonna be set. It's gonna to have to be set at a high price. And that's also what I was told by a few other people. Too, so. This is what the people in power have in store for us, wanting us to reach our breaking point, letting this financial crisis reach such a critical level that the IMF has to get involved. Now, this comes with good news, as due to Ripple's connection to the IMF, it's highly likely that XRP will be incorporated as the solution. And for such an institutionally and financially important role for XRP to play, the price can't be volatile and the price has to be high. But the media don't want you to know this, which is why you have to look for the clues and they are everywhere. India's $3 trillion economy takes a crypto turn. There's not going to be a Bitcoin ban, but strong regulations are needed ahead. And it's a very good thing, therefore, that XRP is one of the few cryptos that have regulatory clarity in the United States. So XRP is safe and XRP will be a big factor in the world's economy. And whether Gary Gensler or the United States government likes it or not, in the USA, crypto regulation is coming one way or another. That is believed by the Coinbase CEO which is very, very British news for crypto and in particular for XRP. But you know what they say, seize the day and thank you for watching.